Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about the basic anatomy and function of the stomach and how does the stomach help in the digestion process. So let's get started. So we'll start off with the anatomy of the stomach. The stomach, as we all know, is a muscular sac like organ located in the upper left part of the abdomen between the esophagus and the small intestine. It is a key component of the digestive system responsible for breaking down food into smaller particles and mixing it with the digestive juices before releasing it into the small intestine. The stomach wall is composed of four layers, the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis externa, and the serosa. The mucosa is the innermost layer and is composed of three sub- so as I mentioned, the mucosa is the innermost layer and is composed of three sublayers: the epithelium, the lamina propria, and the muscularis mucosae. The epithelium is the layer in contact with the stomach contents and is composed of different cell types including chief cells, parietal cells, and mucus cells. Chief cells produce pepsinogen, which is an enzyme that helps in the breakdown of protein. Now, pepsinogen chief cells produce pepsinogen, which is converted into pepsin by the acidic environment in the stomach, while the parietal cells produce hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor, which is necessary for the absorption of vitamin B12. The submucosa is a layer of connective tissue that contains blood vessels, lymphatic vessels, and nerves. The muscularis externi is composed of three layers of smooth muscle that contracts to mix and propel the food through the stomach. The outermost layer of the stomach is the serosa. Now the serosa is a thin layer of connective tissue that covers the stomach and helps anchor it to the surrounding structures. Overall, the structure of the stomach and its different layers and cell types are crucial for its digestive functions. Understanding the anatomy of the stomach is an important foundation for learning about its role in the digestive system and the various digestive processes that occurs within it. In this slide, we'll be talking about the function of the stomach. Now, the stomach plays a crucial role in the digestive system by performing several important functions like mechanical digestion. The stomach uses its muscular walls to churn and mix the food with digestive juices, breaking it down into smaller particles. This process is known as mechanical digestion, helps to increase the surface area of food particles, making it easier for digestive enzymes to break them down further. Chemical digestion. The stomach secretes digestive juices, including hydrochloric acid, pepsinogen, and mucus. Hydrochloric acid helps to break down food particles and kill harmful bacteria, while pepsinogen will be converted into pepsin by the acid. Now, pepsin, as I mentioned earlier, is the enzyme that helps in the digestion of proteins. So pepsin breaks down proteins into smaller peptides. Mucus. Now the main function of the mucus is that it protects the stomach lining from the corrosive effects of the acid and enzymes. The stomach regulates the rate of digestion and absorption of nutrients by releasing food into the small intestine in a controlled manner. The release of food is regulated by a sphincter, a muscular valve that opens and closes to allow food to pass through. Absorption of nutrients. Now, while the stomach is not primarily responsible for absorbing nutrients, small amounts of certain substances such as alcohol and some medications can be absorbed through the stomach lining. The functions of the stomach are critical for the digestive process and the absorption of nutrients that are essential for maintaining overall health and wellness. Understanding how the stomach works and its role in the digestive system can help individuals make informed choices about their diet and lifestyle and can also help in the diagnosis and treatment of digestive disorders. So the stomach is one of the key organs in the process of digestion. The stomach uses various enzymes and acids to break down food and prepare it for further digestion in the small intestine. The stomach secretes several digestive juices including hydrochloric acid, pepsinogen, and mucus. As I mentioned earlier, hydrochloric acid helps to create an acidic environment in the stomach which activates pepsinogen to become pepsin a digestive enzyme that breaks some proteins into smaller peptides. Mucus helps to protect the stomach lining from the corrosive effects of the acid. The stomach uses its muscular walls to mix and churn food with the digestive juices, breaking it down into smaller particles. This process is known as mechanical digestion, helps to increase the surface area of food particles, making it easier for digestive enzymes to break them down further. The stomach also has a unique pattern of motility that helps to mix and propel food through the digestive system. Now, the muscular walls of the stomach contracts in a coordinated and rhythmic pattern known as peristalsis to mix food with digestive juices and move it towards the sphincter. 
Once the food is thoroughly mixed and broken down, it is released into the small intestine in small portions known as chyme. This helps to regulate the rate of digestion and absorption of nutrients in the small intestine. The stomach plays a crucial role in the digestive process by breaking down food into smaller particles and mixing it with digestive juices, preparing it for further digestion and absorption in the small intestine. Having a stomach is the main reason you do not need to eat constantly. With its accordion-like folds and highly elastic wall, your stomach can stretch to accommodate about 2 liters of food and drink, usually enough to satisfy your needs for hours. Some chemical digestion occurs in the stomach. The stomach secretes gastric juice, which is made up of a protein digesting enzyme, mucus, and strong acid. The pH of the gastric juice is about 2. One function of the acid is that to break apart the cells in food and denature proteins. The acid also kills most bacteria and other microbes that are swallowed with food. The interior surface of the stomach wall is highly folded. It is dotted with pits leading into the tubular gastric glands. The gastric glands have three types of cells that secrete a different component of gastric juice. First is the mucus cells. Mucus cells secrete mucus, which lubricates and protects the cells lining the stomach. The parietal cells secrete hydrogen and chloride ions, which combine in the lumen of the stomach to form hydrochloric acid. Chief cells secrete pepsinogen, an inactive form of the enzyme pepsin. The diagram on the right of the figure indicates how active pepsin is formed. Pepsinogen, H plus ions, and Cl minus will be secreted into the lumen of the stomach. The hydrogen ions and chloride ions will combine to form HCl, and then HCA will convert some pepsinogen into pepsin. Pepsin itself then helps activate more pepsinogen, starting a chain reaction. Pepsin begins the chemical digestion of proteins. It splits the polypeptide chains of proteins into smaller polypeptides, which will be broken down further in the small intestine. What prevents the gastric juice from digesting away the stomach lining? First off is secreting the pepsin in the inactive form of pepsinogen, helps protect the cells of the gastric glands, and mucus helps protect the stomach lining from both pepsin and acid. Regardless, the epithelium of the stomach is constantly eroded, but enough new cells are generated by mitosis to replace your stomach lining completely about every three days. Another protection for the stomach is that gastric glands do not secrete acidic gastric juice constantly. Their activity is regulated by a combination of nerve signals and hormones. When you see, smell, or taste food, a signal from your brain stimulates the gastric glands to secrete more gastric juice. And as the food arrives in your stomach, it stretches the stomach walls and secretes and triggers the release of the hormone gastrin. Now the function of the gastrin is that it increases the secretion of gastric juice and the secretion of gastrin is controlled by the contents of food in the stomach or the amount of proteins or amino acids present in the, in the stomach. If there is more amount of food, then more gastrin will be secreted and more gastric juice will be secreted to help in the digestion of food. If not, gastrin will, will stop being secreted, preventing, uh, preventing excess amounts of gastric juice to be secreted from the gastric glands. In conclusion, the stomach is a vital organ that plays a crucial role in the digestive system and overall health. Understanding the anatomy functions and the digestive processes of the stomach can help individuals make informed choices about their diet and lifestyle and and can also help in the diagnosis and treatment of digestive disorders. By adopting healthy habits such as consuming a balanced diet, engaging in regular exercise, and managing stress, individuals can support optimal gut health and promote overall wellness remember taking care of your stomach is an important step in maintaining your health and well-being thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video